hello everyone welcome to another episode of t-shirt design tutorial so this one was a request from brother alex he wanted me to show how to make this effect here you can see so this is really simple and easy effect but this is manual so this is not something you will do by using any automated effect you have to do it manually using pen tool so i am going to show you that i am going to use that same text here and i am using the college block this is the font name here you can basically use any college font or university style font that will work so this is my text here i am going to break it and now i need to make it make this b and this e a little bigger than other so i'm selecting this one and i'm going to make it little bit bigger like this so this is the way of doing it if i do it from here in the center it will overlap with the other text so i need to do it in this corner so this one is in this right direction this one is in left direction so this is how my text is looking right now and i'm going to select it then go to effect wrap and then arch so arch is going to give us this effect you can reduce you can increase or decrease the amount of arch you want so in this case this much 40 percent will work for me so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to go to object and expand appearance so this is how it is going to look now this is fine i need to understand this graphic here here so as you can see here i am going to make the area so first this is the black layer then there is another white layer then another blue layer so this is basically three layer graphic and then with that blue layer or the last black layer there is one more layer which is this orange layer here the basketball orange so that's what i need to make here so first step is i am going to select my this one then i am going to pick this color color is not important here but i am just trying to match the example here that's it so selecting this one then go to object path and then offset path and then try making offset path not that much bigger in size this one i want little bit smaller so five pixel will work for me click ok then unite so unite will make it one single graphic then i'm going to change the color to white so i am not clicking anywhere i'm just clicking on the swatch panel and that's why my offset path will not merge with the original graphic so i'm going to press ctrl x to cut it now selecting this one then press ctrl b so my white graphic will be placed under the main graphic so from here i am just changing the color so that you can see so this green is the white layer and then i'm going to select this one again and i'm going to create offset path again this time i will make it 10 pixel that means bigger than the previous one then i am going to again unite this then cut it i am going to select this two press ctrl b and that this is how it is going to look and now if i select this green layer here i can make it white so you can see on top of black it is going to look good so basically this is the first step of my this graphic this is the first layer of my this text then i need to add my this main part which i am about to show this extended part of the text so for doing that i am going to use a guide here so something like this maybe that much this much bigger in size five pixel that's fine and then i'm going to select another one i'm just pressing alt to drag and copy just like this then i'm pressing ctrl r so ctrl r is reflect for me in your case it will bring the ruler but just try to reflect it then i'm going to select these two i'm going to align them in the center position that is totally fine and then i need to just match it with the edge of my graphic here so you can see i am just trying to match it with here it doesn't have to be perfect this much is fine so again i need to do it in this area just like this yeah that's fine so this is my main extended area which is going to be coming from the text 
and now I am going to create another ellipse here just to make the end point and I am going to align it with the center position. So as you can see this is how my this line and this ellipse is looking. So I am going to select this three, this two line and the ellipse then I am going to erase this extra part by pressing alt and clicking on it. So once I remove that part you can see this is how it, it will become. So I need to select it with my direct selection tool then right click and join. So join will join this two corner here. This is not really important but this is the way of making a perfect graphic. So this is how it is going to look. <coughs> now I need to add these extra lines here as you can see. But first thing you need to understand that is this is not very perfect perfectly aligned line or perfectly placed lines these are just random lines so one thing there is yeah, obvious is the b part and the e part so that is what they are matching perfectly then they are just randomly adding this line so that's what exactly what i will do here so first step is if i select this one it will select the setting of it then i'm going to take my pen pen, pen tool here and from here i'm going to just add one line here so that is fine then for this area i am going to just add it exactly same way maybe just like this so this b and e the wide of them is not same so it is going to look a little bit different but make sure that it looks like this is the they are almost same the gap between them is almost same so then you can just add this one okay so not there i need to make it clear here so this is on point i am pressing esc key on my keyboard just to discontinue this line here and then click on this one to make it another line so don't worry about the lines that is being exposed here we will take care of that in a bit so that's it now i am going to continue it from this side because i don't want it to look like one-sided something like this so i have worked with this kind of graphics before and especially in basketball niche you will need to make this kind of text for your client sometimes so that's why i am making this video this is not just a random video you will need this in some ways okay so this much is good for me you can see this is how it is looking don't worry so first step is i am going to select all of it then group i mean all of it means this text only this strokes only then i will select this group and then i will okay first step is i need to make sure they are all grouped together yeah they are grouped so select this right click arrange and bring to front and that will bring my text on top and you can see this line the this part of the line that was exposed is now hiding behind the text so this is how it is looking if you feel like there is some, something needs to be adjusted you can just do it with your direct selection tool something like this and i think that is good okay so this is how this effect is made you can see here and if you want to fill that with this orange color all you need to do is pick that color and then i am going to select it from here i am not going to click on the exactly anchor point here i am just going to click on this area never click on this anchor point this will erase that point just click on something like this click on the side of the anchor point or anywhere 
there is no anchor point click in the blank space just like this so you can see there are some mistakes we can fix that with direct selection tool but that's not really important here so let's not worry so now i'm going to join it here and then i will make it fill so fill is going to look like this i am going to change it to this color then send it back so you can see this is how it is looking and if i try to select this one this group i can simply make it black so that it will look like this and now i know all i need to do is bring those ellipse here so on ellipse maybe here maybe a little bit in this area something like this i can simply select this one copy and then i need to make this all a group and then open transparency press ctrl f here and then press shift x so shift x will make it look like this and this is the part of the globe you can add an extra layer for the extra text here then another layer for the other elements I am going to change the base point to center with that type on a path options. Just like this, I can maybe make it bigger in size. So this is how you can make it. Now this part should be behind the text. So that is good. just like this okay guys so this is how you can make a design like this i hope this was helpful if you learned something new from this one let me know in the comment section and if you want me to make something or show you something how to make this kind of design then you can post in my facebook group or you can inbox me for that so that's all for today's video see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you